Hey guys, Olga here. I wanted to talk about a question that I get asked often and I also see it coming up in the forums uh, with of infertility and that is how do you cope with your own emotions of not being able to get pregnant or keep the pregnancy and having your best friend's baby shower or somebody's baby shower and so sadly I've seen that many of you choose to boycott anything that has to do with babies or pregnancies and baby showers because you feel uh, that it's so painful to you to go through that that you choose not to go. I totally know where you're coming from because I have sat in baby showers having all kinds of thoughts that were maybe, not maybe, for sure torturing me where I was telling myself like this is amazing, I get to see through somebody else's baby shower and I am this old and I still haven't had my own. But I recognize that the only sad thing about baby showers or celebrating somebody's pregnancy are the thoughts that we're telling ourselves. And so given that most of the work I do with people is helping them have a disciplined mind and a mind that is actually um, aiming to help us and our experience. I wanted to. I challenge myself to that, and I wanted. I, I want to extend the invitation of the challenge to you as well, because if you think about it, the most uncomfortable part for you probably right now about attending a baby shower has everything to do with what you're telling yourself about the shower and about what it means to you. So what I did for myself. First of all, I never felt uh, that I needed to stop going to baby showers or that, you know, and I'm one of, one of five children. All four of my siblings have children, including my youngest brother, and they all have at least one, but uh, an average of two children. So I have been to the birth of my niece and nephews. I have attended multiple baby showers and birthday parties. And I am so happy I didn't miss out on any of that and that I was able to feel really happy for my siblings, for my cousins, for my sisters-in-law, and for anybody, my friends, who have had the fortune to uh, be blessed with a pregnancy and a child in their lives. And so rather than feeling or uh, a sense of comparison of how they have something I don't have, I've always had the mentality of, oh my God, they have what I want and I'm celebrating that because I too want that. And I worry about people who choose to not attend baby showers or to not celebrate their friend's pregnancy because unbeknown to you, what you're doing is giving your body mixed messages. So here you're hoping and praying for a pregnancy, but at the same time you're saying, but I will not attend any place where I can see a pregnant woman or where they're celebrating a baby shower. So internally, your body must be really confused. Okay, do we want a pregnancy or pregnancies are bad? Do we want to have a baby shower or we should never attend a baby shower? So the invitation here is to be in line with your mind and your behavior with your desires. So how can you align them? And work through whatever it is that your mind tells you in those situations because you are your own enemy. I'm probably your only enemy through this. Uh, it's also, we are the ones that make it very awkward for other people because we basically tell them, if you're going to talk about babies, don't talk about it in front of me because I can handle it. And so people start walking on eggshells around us, which in turn makes us feel even more awkward about our situation. So, you know, just hear my, my uh, suggestions as just that, suggestions. It's an invitation, but don't believe anything I say. Just put it to test and see if it works better for you. Next time you're invited to a baby shower, rather than feeling sorry for yourself and letting your mind go to a place of hopelessness, go into abundance. Just be thankful that you have the opportunity to be close to somebody who's pregnant, to be close to that energy, telling your body and your mind the same desire, the same alignment of what's in your heart is going to be in your behavior. And as for me, I am 35, about to be 36. I've attended multiple baby showers. I don't think they're a fun thing to do, personally. I don't even know if I would have one once I have a pregnancy. But I still attend because I do it as a form of getting closer to that one thing that I want. And 
other than them maybe being boring, I honestly cannot say that they're a sad moment for me. So I thought I would share that with you. I hope you find this helpful. I'd love to hear your comments. And if you do try it, let me know once you challenge your mind if, if it changes at all for you. Thank you.